Welcome back. In the last class, we have discussed about the definitions of a chromatic number, some examples, and some important results based on this chromatic number. Today, we are going to discuss about some definitions and uh, some important theorems, corollaries, etc. Okay. First of all, we have to study a definition. Uh, when when will you say that a graph G is critical? When will you say that a graph G is critical? Definition: A graph G is said to be critical. Critical. When the chi of H is less than chi of G, strictly less than chi of G, for every proper subgraph H of G. For every proper subgraph H of G. Okay, then we say that G is critical. Right? And next definition is K critical graph. K critical graph is one that is K chromatic, that is K chromatic and critical. K chromatic and critical. Okay, graph G is said to be critical. If you take any subgraph H of G, its chromatic number must be strictly less than the chromatic number of G. Then we say that G is a critical graph. Okay, then K critical graph means that is K, K chromatic and a critical graph. That is K critical means that is K chromatic and is a, and will be a critical graph. Right. So we have a result. Every K chromatic graph has a K critical subgraph. Every K chromatic graph has a K critical subgraph. Just uh, we can prove this. If G is if G is a K chromatic graph, take H be the minimal subgraph of G such that. Uh, chi of h is equal to chi of g equal to k. This is the result. Every k chromatic graph has a k critical subgraph. Okay. So, if g is a k chromatic graph, take h b minimal subgraph of g such that chi of h is equal to chi of g is equal to k. Then, this h must be, then this h must be must be k critical since since h is a minimal subgraph of g okay h is a minimal subgraph of g means e coloring you say that k color you say that namalku color cheyan pattunna etum minimal subgraph aanu h ini adil ninnu oru vertex ang remove cheythu kaniyunya that is k minus 1 coloring aayi maaru avada so chi of h is equal to chi of g is equal to k for example Consider a graph Consider this graph that is uh, this is colored by using a three coloring okay this is a graph G here graph G this is H. This is a minimal subgraph of G. Right? Such that it is a three coloring and three coloring subgraph. This is the K critical. H must be. This is remove K critical graph. Okay? That is the coloring. That is less than K of G. That is. Move one edge from H here, it will be two chromatic. It will be two chromatic. Okay, that is when I am removing this edge here. So I can color this uh, with the color two here. Okay, so then the two, it will be two coloring actually. That is two chromatic graph. Right, so this is actually a here it is 
one. Okay. Therefore, this is a HS. HS three critical graph. HS three critical graph. Okay. So the result is approved. Okay. This is an example for a four critical graph. How can you color this with a, by using four coloring? Just I am doing. This is the first coloring. Okay. Next, I am coloring this by the second color. This vertex and this vertex is not adjacent, so I can color with a two here two. Okay. All these vertex with a color two, and uh, next is. we have to color these outside vertices so this vertex is connected to 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 coloring so i can color this with respect by using one okay and also this vertex is adjacent to one one colored vertex and two colored vertex so i have to use another color that is three right and next this vertex is adjacent to two colored vertex and three colored vertex so i can color with the first color and this vertex is adjacent to two colored vertex and one colored vertex so i can color with the three and this vertex is adjacent to one colored vertex two colored vertex and three colored vertex so we cannot color with the, the previous colors 1 2 3 so we need a new color that is 4 can you subgraph h of g then it must be colored with a, a color less than 4 aayirikka so this is a four critical graph result every critical graph is connected every critical graph is connected Let G be a critical graph. Okay. If G is not connected, what will be? G has at least two distinct components. Distinct components. Say C one. At least two distinct. Say it be C one, C two, etc. C. B distinct distinct components of distinct components of G. Okay. In the assume J, the total of the G is not connected. Since G is not connected, each C I each C I is a Each C I is a proper subgraph of G. Okay, like each C I is a proper subgraph of G. Hence, hence, chi of C I is strictly less than, which is not equal, strictly less than chi of G. Chi of C I is strictly less than chi of G, since G is critical. Okay, since G is critical, G is critical. Okay, every subgraph has uh, chromatic number is strictly less than the chromatic number of G. Therefore, it's this is for every I. Okay, therefore the maximum one less than or equal to I less than or equal to n the C I. Chromatic number of C I is strictly less than chromatic number of G. But we have, but we have a result to that. Result to that. This maximum K of G is equal to K of G equal to maximum of. Chi of G is equal to the maximum of chi of C such that C is a component of G. C is a component of G. 
ओके इतने कंपोनेंट ले मैक्सिमम कलरिंग आने एक्चुअली कई ऑफ जी इड़ जी इड़ कलरिंग क्रोमैटिक नंबर अंदर पर इन्होंने सो इधर ये रिजल्ट का आया ना इपुर ला मैक्सिमम ऑफ कई ऑफ सी ए स्ट्रिक्टली लेस दें कई ऑफ जी आन दिस इस ए कंट्रडिक्शन दिस इस ए कंट्रडिक्शन therefore g must be therefore g must be connected therefore g must be connected